I'm going to do an exercise for American Style Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. In this exercise, I'm going to push myself to make quick decisions. I call this exercise Charleston Sprints. If you have a set at home, give it a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell when you do, that way you won't miss anything. All my towels are out, they've been mixed. I have a stopwatch here. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. We'll just say we're the dealer, so I'm gonna get 14 random tiles for each sprint. I am going to create a mock Charleston. Okay, here we go. Okay, five, six, eight, nine. We've got eights, we've got ones. We could maybe play a year hand with a one eight in mixed suits. Let's pass these three because we could still do something consecutive. Okay, we've got one, eight, we need the two if we're gonna do a year hand. Let's give up the six so we can pass one of each suit. Okay, we got a flower and a one, just keep every year tile. Okay, now we've got dots and a pair. Let's pass that. So we could probably give up that too. Let's pass these three. Okay, these are not quite the right tiles. Let's keep the two and pass these three here. Okay, we've got a two. Oh, we could pass these three with no problem. Just keep all the year tiles that you can. There's a one back and we have two tiles to pass. So now we can kind of check this out. I'm thinking the 2018 hand, this first one. Now we do have two, one, eight. Yeah, let's get rid of the two crack and then see what we can get here. We have tiles we can pass for optional cross. Okay, so we did get a two back. So here we hit, let's just put them in order. Just check it out. Okay, there, we can, these can go away. So here we have one, two, eight, one, two. We're kind of in between. If we want, we could even use this as joker bait and play the one, two consecutive hand the one, two consecutive pung hand, that would leave five discards with, with a pair of joker bait there. If we played the year hand, 2018, let's see, we need two, zero, one, eight. That's six discards. I think we're better off with consecutive one, two, right here, just kind of share the jokers. One, two, pung hand, joker bait, three discards. I think that's stronger. And it's concealed, so you don't have to reveal what you're doing. You just gather ones and twos. As a matter of fact, I'd probably hold that. If we get more ones, we could even maybe switch to a quint, or if even if we get twos. And we could still always go back to a year hand as well. So I'd say two discards with joker bait. Consecutive run or a year, one or the other. Okay, let's go on to sprint two.
Okay, sprint two. Okay, multiples, we have three, five. I'm thinking little odds, little odds. So I'm gonna keep all the one, three, five. We could maybe even do something with a pair hand with the nines. I don't wanna pass this though. Let's give up a wind and pass these three. I'm thinking little odds is probably gonna be best. Look at all these wins though now. Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe we should play the news pair hand. Let's keep the five and pass. Let's pass these three. Okay, Joker, trade it out. Two. Okay, now four, five, Oops, nine, pass these three. West, keeper. Okay, now we need to pass, we gotta pass, okay, we have to pass, oh no, no. Let's pass like numbers, better than passing a pair. I don't wanna stop the Charleston. Okay, we've got tiles to pass. Let's put a five crack in there so we're not stuck with, oh, like numbers. There, let's pass those three. Okay, no keepers there. Let's break that up a little bit. Pass these three. Okay, east. And we have tiles we can pass. That's not bad. One, five. Maybe we should put it even in there. Okay, here we go. Lap. Okay. So we have four discards with a pair hand. News, two, three. We need a one bam or a four bam, and then we just need to fill in here. That was not bad. I think uh, four discards is um, an indication of good decision making through the Charleston. Even though we have a gap, it's going to be a little risky. The nice thing here is though. We could always trade these out and hold wins and switch to a wind hand if it doesn't come through. But I think this is doable. If you would have done something different, right? Sprint two and what you would do differently. Let's move on to sprint three. Okay, last sprint. Okay, now this one, we have a pair of eights. That's where we start. Pair of eights, right here, eights. So what do we have the most of? We do have all the fives, but we do have some sixes. We have no twos or fours. I'm thinking consecutive with six, eight, Six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. We're left with a bunch of threes and fives. Let's get let's get rid of a wind. Okay, here's a nine. Okay, we've got a white dragon. Let's get rid of the north. How about that? Actually, we can break the next pass up by switching out those fives. Okay, there's two. There's another two for two, four, six, eight. Oh, and we have tiles we can pass. It's a little risky there though, but I wanna leave myself options because we're kind of in between two, four, six, eight or consecutive run with eights and nines. Okay, nothing good here. Let's give up on the nines and pay, play two, four, six, eight. We even have all two, four, six, eight, no gaps. So let's go ahead and pass these three. There's a two, keep it. Okay, here's a nine and a white. 
I don't like passing white dragons though. Let's give up this two here. Wait, two, four, six, eight. Let's give up the six. Flower. And we have tiles we can pass right here. There's four. And three tiles to pass. Lap. Did I lap it? There we go. Okay, we've got four discards, but we have a good hand here. It's even set. We can pung. The, this is the first hand under two, four, six, eight. Um, pung, or pung the uh, flowers. We need a pair here. That could maybe be the winning weight. Pair of fours. Pung the six and Kong the eight. So we can act on each component of the hand and be ready on a two dot. So we have four discards. I think that was another good Charleston there. So let's see how things went with time though. I'm not sure if I made it in under two minutes. Let's find out. I think I'm out of practice. So my goal is to make decisions in under two minutes. I consider myself to be an advanced player, so under two minutes for advanced, under three minutes for intermediate, under four minutes for beginner. Those are the guidelines I think are good, but do what works for you, just so that you push yourself. Set whatever guidelines you want, but push yourself. That's the whole purpose of sprints. So my first sprint, two minutes and 12 seconds. Sprint two, two minutes, 20 seconds. Sprint three, two minutes, 32. So I definitely need to work on my decision-making and just make quicker decisions. That's why I like to do these sprints. If you have a set at home, try it yourself. Let me know how it goes for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston Sprints for American Style Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.